Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. Uh, so last time we met with a little bit of uh, unfortunate uh, circumstance and died. Um, mostly because we got stuck. Uh, so we're going to reset the simulation, although I, uh, I do have a couple ideas on how to... How I think uh, I want to proceed. I don't know if this is going to work well or not, uh, but we'll find out. I think I'm going to start as... Uh, I think either VJ or, or Claire. I think I had said that last time. But I guess I will... Uh, let's, uh, let's start as VJ here, I think. Uh, primarily because he's going to have the hardest time getting through Typhon Gates. Um, we're not going to take any, uh, any loot here. We're just going to get going. Um, but yeah, as far as the typing gates go, uh, one of the things I'm going to try differently is, depending on, uh, sort of the, the, the circumstances we spawn in with here, I may try just blowing up all the typhon right now. And I don't know if that's a good idea or not, because I don't know if they're going to respawn. Like, I assume the Nightmare will, will come out at, like, Russian level, level 4, probably, is where he seems to come out. But what about uh, other Typhon? I don't know. Uh, for certain, anyway. Uh, so we're going to take that. We'll leave the wrench there for now. Let's uh, go ahead and just put that on. And we'll get Combat Focus ready as well. Okay, so what do we got down here? We've got... Looks like Mimics, maybe, this time. Let's see, you've got some bullets. I guess I'll take those. Uh, well, I don't see Typhon Spore Nests, which is a nice change of pace. Oh, that's actually really good. I'm going to take those. I'm going to take this hard drive, too. And I'm going to take this, uh, this med kit. And then let's get the hell out of here. Now, I don't think I need a, uh, let's see, you got a pistol, actually. Uh, we're going to search you. I think I already have a propulsion kit with him, if I uh, recall correctly here. So we're just going to split this, and uh, we'll grab one of these just in case we need it. I'm going to leave the pistol for somebody else, I think. Um, where's our moon shark? Uh, I guess I'm going to take the spare parts. Probably should have just left those. Alright, so I'm just going to run away from this guy as best I can. Uh, I mean, VJ can certainly take a hit. I don't want to fight this thing if I don't have to. Poltergeist around here somewhere. You don't see that very often. Uh, I'm not going to stick around to search for him because I intend to pretty much just kill him. Looks like we're all clear here. Uh, I'm not going to worry about making an engineer just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and... What we got here? Suit repair kits. I'll take those. Uh, and I'll take the shotgun shells as well. Since we have an extra pistol here, I'm kind of tempted to take that, but I guess I'll leave it. Uh, okay. Uh, da -da -da, escape pod. So the pod's in the crater. Um, radiation's not an issue. Everything's powered. No oxygen in the crew annex, and allegedly no fire hazards, but I don't think that can be trusted. And trams offline in the moon works as well. And then last but not least, I'm going to duck for a second here. <laughs> um, we've got uh, the, the engineering annex in the labs. Okay. So we need to find... Oh, wow. I was afraid that was going to happen. <laughs> Where are you, you little shit? Alright, so I use Combat Focus there to do a little bit more damage. Whether or not it's worth it remains to be seen. I guess I guess we'll take the the, uh, the Typhon organs. Uh, no. Yeah, we don't need to, to worry about that. Um, right, I do want to just check on this again. So the crew annex has a trauma center. Um, storage room here. Let's go see if that's open. Uh, definitely not. Not this time. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. 
Things seem to be going pretty well out here. Uh, we do want to go to that trauma center. I'm going to have to... Actually, I'm going to take that. I'm going to have to see which one of these... I think it was the crew annex that had the thing. So I'm going to take the modules out of the labs here. We're going to go upstairs and pull the trigger on this, uh, this other thing up here. Let's see what kind of enemies we have up here, if any. Sometimes we've got uh, some mimics and the like, but I don't see anything obvious this time, uh, which is good. Okay. Psy Hypo, I'm going to leave that there. Alright, control module ready, tower on. Is it doing the thing, or...? Yeah, good. It's exactly what I wanted, so these things get blown out. But they're just broken. Uh, they're not like gone, gone. So the plan here is going to be um, uh, go ahead and recycle some stuff here. What do we? Uh, what do we got? We don't have any organic material, I don't think, which is probably what we would need. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna drop these spare parts for uh, for Joan for later. And uh, yeah, we'll take the skin graft. I'm just going to leave the, the tubing there. It's not really going to do me much good. Right this second, exotic material, kind of same deal. Uh, let's get out of here, I think. Attitude adjustment required. What do we got here? We've got uh, the listening device. We've got an optimizer. I don't remember what this even does. Uh, reduces the psychosis of energy morph and... Well, I mean, that's more or less useless, but... Uh, so be it. A couple of neuromods. Can we use... Uh, Two neuromods on anything? It doesn't seem like it. So I guess I'll leave those there as well. I don't think VJ really needs anything in particular here. Uh, okay. So it's more medical supplies, broken cooler fan. I'm just going to leave that stuff, I think, right where it is. Um, Alright, so to get to... Uh, where was I going? I was going to the crew annex. So the crew annex is that way. And, uh, in fact, I could, yeah, go hunting for some more control modules, now that I think about it. I didn't realize it was going to blow up all the harvesters, but now that we've got a couple extras, uh, you know what I'm going to do is just take all this stuff. Oh, you're not dead. Okay. <laughs> well, that's obnoxious. I was really uh, thinking that uh, he was going to die from, from that, but maybe he was underground at the time? I don't know. Well, regardless, I'm going to replace the control modules downstairs uh, here real quick. So I'm playing a little, little looser with the uh, the corruption timer this time around. But uh, I think we're going to have... Well, I don't know if we're going to have enough time or not. <laughs> but uh, you get so much more time at the higher corruption levels that I don't feel too bad about this. Okay, let's um, go ahead and get this stuff ready to go here. Just in case things go terribly wrong. Uh, all right. So let's go. Uh, let's go this way. It looks like we didn't get everything. So there's definitely still some some bad uh, typhon around. So I'm gonna have to zap that guy for now. I guess we're not using those. Typhon material detected. All right. So we're hoping that the trauma center is open, basically. Because uh, otherwise we might be in some trouble. Uh, kind of just hoping to get lucky to find some uh, some anti-rads. There's a couple places in here we could find it. Uh, upstairs in the executive offices in particular, I think. Sphere conditions. Uh, then we do have this, apparently. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Another uh, nice looking wrench there. Uh, yeah, I think we better just do one of those real quick. Man, so many wrenches. I guess I'm going to take one. And I'm going to repair my suit, I think, as well. Okay. 
can actually get into the utility room here, so I suppose, since we're leaving... Uh, I'm gonna take that. And I'm gonna take those, even though we don't have a thing just yet. Let's see what else we got here. Huntress, Boltcaster, Elite Fab. That's interesting. I guess I'm gonna take the Neuromod, just because there's no sense in leaving it here that I can think of. And uh, here we've got a Q-Beam. Um... Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, recycle this stuff. I mean, I'm not going to use a Q-Beam. I know this to be a fact. These seem to be the same, so I'm going to recycle that as well. And uh, I'm going to recycle that as well. So there we go. Okay. Can I make... Not neuromods. I could make a control module if I wanted to, but <laughs> it's not quite what I'm looking for. I'm looking for... This guy. I'm just going to make one of these right now. So we don't have to worry about whether or not Claire can get into the, uh, the appropriate thing uh, later on. And then we're going to go this way. And we're going to go this way. Okay. This is a regular Mimic. Perfectly capable of just bopping him. Without uh, too much trouble here. Alright, what else we got? Anything good? I don't see anything uh, in particular that I love. Although here, maybe. I guess I'll take the Psy Hypo. You never know. Uh, even VJ could use one of those from time to time. Okay, so we're not getting in there. But we don't need to get in there. We don't need to get in there either, honestly. Okay, just looking for... Uh, for anti-rads here. Oh, we're we're going to need drinks, though. Uh, so let's not forget about those. Let's take the gel as well here. Note. Alright, we don't need to know about that little mechanic. Um... Oh, blue cannon, I'll take that. See repair kit, another propulsion system. I don't think there's any reason to take that. Uh, or leave it. I, don't, I just don't think it matters one way or the other. Now, what about you? Anything good here? A repair kit. Uh, and a book. Nothing, uh, nothing particularly useful here. But really, I need to get upstairs. That's where... I'm going to find a lot of the good stuff, although we do want to avoid that guy. Take all those. We're going to have to uh, gauge in righteous combat here. That wasn't so bad. It's probably, yeah, I was going to say another mimic or something around here somewhere. Just so he doesn't sneak up on me. Uh, we'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. Anything else? Yeah, med kit's pretty good. In fact, we could probably just... Well, if we're going to a trauma center, I guess maybe I'll just hang on to this for a sec. And we'll, uh, we'll just see how things go here. Uh, I don't know if I got all the Typhon that was down here. Oh no, I guess I did. Uh, vodka's no good, medkit med kit fab, not particularly good. We could actually run into the, uh, the kitchen here. And get our food, one, two, um... Warning, oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Well, I guess the EMP charge isn't too bad. Uh, no, don't want that, don't want that. Kind of expecting more... Jesus, another Q-beam, huh? I don't know if they insist. Kind of was expecting a little bit more in the way of, uh... Food items here, there we go. Alright, we got plenty of food. Let's get upstairs. Okay. There we 
go. Don't know if anybody heard that or not, but uh, let's uh, let's keep going here. Some bullets. Uh, another suit repair kit. Nothing particularly interesting here. Uh, we'll take that. I guess we'll take some more Q-beam cells. Banana peel does nothing for me, really. Shotgun shells are good, though. Uh, that shotgun's not in partic particularly good shape. Guess I'll make one of those. Brain pills, so close to what I want, and yet so far. Um, Alright, well. Got all kinds of ammo, but not... Anti-rads, which is what I'm looking for. The uh, Actually, now that I think about it, the uh, storage closet's downstairs, isn't it? Well, we'll deal with him first. I'm going to sneak into here because usually here there are medical supplies. But this time, no, uh, no anti-rads that I can see, unfortunately. I'll take that, I'll take that, and I guess I will take... Uh, this other thing as well. We'll get rid of that one. We'll take that one. Uh, beyond that, I don't see what I'm looking for, really. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a shame. I'll try Alex's office real fast here. If I can get past these boxes, <laughs> that is. go um well, he's got neuromods in here I guess I'll, I'll at least relieve him of, uh, of those he's not gonna need them after all but uh, beyond that I don't see anything here unfortunately so we're gonna have to move on how many neuromods do we have five that's enough We get more HP, uh, we get better combat focus. That sounds like not the worst idea. Uh, you. You have noodles. I do not need noodles. Alright, I think the storage closet's right over here. Yes, trauma center is a go. Uh, let's grab that. I don't really want the bolt caster, I don't think. Uh, I don't know, even know what that is. I'm not going to worry about it. My expectation is, yes, anti-rads right here. Okay, this is good. Let's get a quick heal going, and then uh, we're going to get out of here. Uh, I'm not going... We can't use the tram to get to, to Moonworks. Um, because it is broken, as I recall. So instead, we shall go this way, back the way we came. If I can get out before uh, the corruption level goes up again, that would be swell. I'm going the wrong way, though. I want to go this way will work, I think, just fine. Okay. So I'm going to try and leave some stuff for uh, somebody else as I go through uh, the crater again here. All right, uh, let's take a look at the uh, the old inventory real quick. So we've got like a Q-beam, a glue cannon, a wrench. Uh, let's actually sort this a little bit. Got a bunch of pistol ammo, but no pistol to use it with, and plenty of shotgun shells. Okay, so my plan, I think, is going to be... Let's see if we can just get through this without getting too banged up here. We go back to the command center and drop some stuff off. Don't know. Sounds like there's a, there's another poltergeist out here somewhere, uh, but I don't know where he is exactly. So I'm not gonna. Oh, never mind. Did I, did I get him? I think I got him. I got him. All right. Alright, we're going to go up 
here, hopefully before it changes, and we get respawns, but didn't quite make it. Uh, well, at least this stuff is all still broken. Uh, Alright, so the plan now, I think, how many, uh, alright, the integrity of our shotgun is excellent, so I don't need to worry about that. But I'm gonna, gonna get rid of that, we're gonna keep this, and uh, I think... Uh, we definitely want to keep that. We'll leave the uh, the nav chip, and we will leave all of our spare parts here as well. I'm gonna split this, I think, um, and we'll just uh, leave those. So we've got anti rads. Uh, we only need so much food here. And in fact, I'm gonna, I think, uh, split this as well. Drop that, so we've got four there, there's five, so we can get rid of that. And uh, we'll get rid of that. And anything else, whatever, I think I'll just probably keep, we'll get rid of our, our materials as well, actually. Because uh, we certainly won't be using those, as far as I can think anyway. Would have expected us to have more. Ah, there we go. I think is that all of it? That might be all of it. Okay. So a little bit of inventory management. Potentially going a long way here. Uh at this point I need to go to the moonworks. Right. Okay. That's gonna involve using this uh little number here. And, uh, I think I'm gonna hang on to this. As much as I would love to leave it for somebody else to use. Like, uh, like Claire. This is the only character that I think we're gonna have to go to Moonworks with. So I think we can kind of get away with... Just hanging on to this. So my plan is, um, I think I'm probably going to end up using... Uh, I don't know, I might, might use Claire next, might use Joan next. Assuming we actually make it through this, of course. I'm happy to report that Moonworks has completed another quarter without any serious accidents or loss of equipment. Keep up the good work. That works out quite well. Um, what is this? A Psy Hypo? Sure. Uh, you can Inspector, actually fix my suit real quick, I guess. I'll patch that for you, John Dunn. Probably wasn't worth waiting around for, in retrospect. Uh, I've got more spare parts, I mean... I'll just leave those there, I guess. Let's, uh, sneak up on this Weaver real fast. Seems like these guys always have... Uh, delay time delays. And oh, <laughs> I don't know where, where the rest of them went, honestly. Kind of uh, splattered him all over the place. Well, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna keep on keeping on here. Anything in here that I want, eh, not particularly. A lot of med kits that I'm getting, I mean, it could be useful. But ultimately, all I really need to do is get down here. There are a couple of harvesters that I could use, but again, I don't think I need to go back here. Oh, just wrecked that guy. Love it. Okay. Grab this, we'll grab the note, we will, uh, grab your stuff, and then we'll carry your sorry butt out of here, so that you're not in my way later. Alright, so in here we put this guy, this guy, uh, da da da, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, I think that should do it. A lot of spare parts in here still. Uh, I'm just going to leave this stuff here for emergency sake, I guess. 
Back do I have any more spare parts? No. Best log for soil filters. Alright, where am I going next? I gotta... I think I'm going the wrong way. I need to go... Up. And to get up... Uh, to where I need to be, I need to go... Uh, this away. As I recall, we do have a, uh, a glue cannon, which... Potentially makes things a little bit easier, um... Especially considering the circumstances with this. But, uh, that worked out quite well. Okay, what's that sound? I don't know. Just gonna keep running. Is that... That's kind of where I need to go, isn't it? Okay, so far so good. Do you have a cystoid here? I guess I'll just... Just suck it up a little bit here and take a little damage. But we have... So oh, God! There's a weaver here, too. That changes things a little bit. Uh, we'll use that. We have so many medkits, though. And you're dead. Okay. Uh, you've got control module, which I am... I think I'm going... I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that, either. I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to try and drop it, I guess. Uh, da -da -da. we'll just drop it down there. Hopefully it doesn't break. If it does, so be it. But at least it'll be down there somewhere for uh, an enterprising individual should that uh, become necessary. In the meantime, we're going to need this. And I don't really need another med kit, so I guess we'll just do it this way. I think I just really need to go right around like so. Zap that. And we're gonna get out of here. By the looks Type of things. Material detected. Last driver launch sequence initiated. Destination, low Earth orbit. Please ensure container is secure. And all personnel are clear of the lift zone. Alright. As long as I don't die coming down here, I think I'll be alright. Go ahead and, uh... Please ensure uh, yeah, I don't think it really matters. We'll just, uh... Drop all this stuff just in case that becomes... Relevant at some point. Secure. And all personnel are clear of... Alright. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think... Hmm. It's tough. Joan or Claire? Because the later it gets, the harder time Claire's going to have with uh, some of the higher level Typhon. Because she's not really particularly well suited to killing uh, lots of enemies. So I think I might I might go with her next. And we'll go see if we can fix up the uh, the computer. Over in the labs, real quick, and then we're then we're pretty much all set to go with her uh, immediately, which uh, works out quite nicely. So let's, uh, yeah, let's give this a try. Alright, I'm going to take this wrench just in case there's robots uh, that we have to deal with, because uh, it'll do more damage to them. But, theoretically, uh, we should be in pretty good shape here. Uh, I'm not going to take that. I don't think we're going to need it with, uh, with Claire here. So fast. As long as I can avoid getting tagged by the moon shark, which is easier said than done at times. Okay, so here is phase one completed. We made it safely. Oh, relatively safely. To the thing, there's a poltergeist down here somewhere, but I don't know where the little bastard is exactly. 
It's not going to matter in a second, I don't think. I'm hoping this doesn't kill Claire. In fact, I need to go back down because I get a little ahead of myself here. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I hope this doesn't kill her because I think she does count as Typhon, whereas VJ does not. But since, in theory, we no longer ever have to go to Moonworks again for the remainder of this run, I can pretty safely just use these bad boys. All right. I'm getting about sick of your shenanigans, sir. Don't have time to really dick around looking for this guy either. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Put those right there. Flip the switch. Please don't kill me. Then we got a bunch of broken control modules right there that, uh... Perhaps can be fixed by, um... By Joan later on. So my hope is... Actually, are we gonna... Let's, uh, go ahead and pick up... Uh, this guy. Hyphen organ, super barricade, blah, blah, blah. Looks like there's still air supply room. There's still some uh, some Typhon down there, so it doesn't really actually kill the Typhon in the way that I would like. Uh, instead, we're going to have to explore the possibility of uh, making an EMP charge or something for ourselves here. Uh, although I, somebody did mention that maybe the Psycho Cutter will work, but I don't know if I can rely on that right this second. I'm just looking for an EMP charge, two synthetic and one mineral. Can I make that happen? Uh, well, I got all these Typhon organs. I got this QBM I'm probably not going to use, and these suit repair kits, and uh, some med kits, and plus all these other materials. I think I can probably make it work. Uh, okay. EMP charge. Create. Probably should have just looked into making a uh, disruptor gun, actually. Uh, but it's a little bit late for that. Uh, okay. I think, uh, I think I'm only going to need the one, probably. But just in case, I need uh, some more of a little bit of everything, really. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of you. And uh, at this point, I guess I can probably get rid of that. Uh, you know what? I better keep that. And we can get rid of those. Cycle. Something I missed from last time, I guess. Uh, okay. We'll still try the uh, the whole. Um, You know, do it old, uh, do it with the old psycho cutter deal, but I don't know if it's gonna work. It does not seem to work. Ah, uh, okay. Alrighty. So all we gotta do is get in, fix the computer, and get out. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. And then, uh, head back to the crater. Basically, to, uh, to get to the escape pods. Warning. Flooding and electrical damage detected. Well, that's not ideal. Go, go, go. Open the door. Thank you very much. Might grab that control module for the way out. Uh, take a Psy Hypo just in case. I'll take the Neuromod just in case. I don't think she can really uh, make use of it right at the moment. Just try not to get spotted by that Phantom. And yeah, nothing. Uh, oh, got an etheric mimic right there, I see. As long as he stays in there, I guess it doesn't really matter. I think he spotted me. Yes, he did. Okay, well, he's dead now. 
Usually, yeah, there's some pandas over here. This is the guy that killed us last time. One of them, anyway. All right, we got to uh, get a backup for a sec. What do we have in our repertoire? We could hit him with <laughs> with uh, one of these, and we may have to, but I'm going to try to avoid it if I can. We don't even have this equipped to anything yet. And let's use uh, let's use this guy. Okay. Could have, uh, could have gone better, could have gone worse. Spare parts. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't want these spare parts. I'm going to use that now. Let's see here. Spare parts can go. We'll have Joan pick those up later, I think. Ow. Alright, this is becoming uh, an untenable... Situation, I must admit. Warning. Vital signs critical. Oh, don't get hit by those. Let's hide in here for a sec, shall we? <laughs> Alright, suit repair kit. May or may not save our life here. Ah, uh, I have some doubts. It's not going to do me any good, is it? Okay, that was the uh, the doppelganger, I assume. All right, just hang out here in the corner for a sec. <sighs> it's getting a little too intense for my taste. Should have taken more medkits, I guess, or left more medkits. Jesus Christ. Well, we've got food that we can eat, and we're not injured. In the literal sense. Oh, she's got one of those, actually. That's useful. All right, let's um complete this mini game real fast. Okay. And last one. Swell. All right, so we're good to go there. Uh, asteroid fragment is not really what I'm what I'm looking for here. Uh, it's not really anything that I can use, unfortunately. Uh, I could actually. Ow! What is that? Why is it hurting me? I don't know. Uh, another Psy Hypo I will take. In fact, I'm going to use one of these now. And let's get an actual useful power, <laughs> I guess, going. Random Shift might save us. Things get hairy again. Uh, I'm not holding my breath. Let's go ahead and just open this, though. We'll get the better cutter. Is that uh, extra damage boost might actually matter. And some bullets, Typhon Organ. Not particularly interesting stuff there. Okay, well. We've done uh, we've done what we came to do, so let's just try to get out of here without dying. Uh, nope, that's not what I want. Keep going, keep going. Oh, God. That door is open. I hate that. Okay, <laughs> back to the crater we go. All right, is that the nightmare? That might be the nightmare, or at least the moon shark. I'm gonna actually go down this way though. So I'd like to know if there's any uh, med kits down here. Sometimes there are. It's rare, if ever, that I've even seen uh, Typhon down here at all when it's uh, all closed up like this uh, spare parts will take them uh, I think there's usually if I'm not mistaken yeah medkit right here so we'll use that 
And uh, I think that's all we're going to get out of here, probably. Oh, we could actually unlock that. Because I think she has the keys to all the supply rooms anyway, right? Uh, frayed wire. And there's the escape pod nap chip. So we've got two of those now. Not that we need two of them for any reason uh, whatsoever, really. Take that, I guess. I don't think bourbon or anything like that is going to do us much good. So let's just... Uh, Let's just go. So I think the way to the... Uh, I think the way to the, the escape pod is usually clear. Let's see, what do we got here? We'll eat those. Um take these just in case uh, increases the movement aiming speed that's useless uh, unfortunately but we'll eat that as well okay so the plan is let's go just need to go and hug the right wall basically no 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 need no need for investigation of any kind. I promise you. Oh, I got in there. Wasn't sure if I needed to do that or not, but I figured it's probably for the best. Okay. So now we still have our EMP charge. Oh yeah, I forget you can slide in this game. <laughs> we still have our EMP charge for uh, for this room. I actually don't see any Typhon in here for once. I can't believe it. Okay, well, there's definitely Typhon. Right there, we've got a tentacle nest. Which uh, is pretty bad, but maybe. Let's just deal with that like so. Oh my god, it's got one hit point left. There we go. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to just use my... Uh, my EMP charge, I think, because we've got this guy left, and I don't think that I can take on a bunch of, um, cystoids, honestly. Uh, so I'm just going to drop that. We'll re-equip that. And then we'll, uh, just grab this guy. No, it didn't work. How could you? All right, well... In that case, plan B. We have to kill this guy. Uh, does electrical damage. That's something. Taking stock of what else I've got here, and the answer is not much. So the plan is going to be quite simple. I need a sneak attack on him. Um. Thought it might help, but I uh, really, uh, really did not. Titan threat imminent. Okay. Um, what else have I got? Is there a gun around here anywhere? Suit repair kit. I mean, it's not useless. Yes, get closer. <laughs> okay. Think uh got a few cystoids to deal with, but otherwise we're we're not sunk. Uh just yet here. Go, okay, well, let's uh pick up this rock maybe and uh see if we can Convince them to destroy themselves. No typhon detected. Okay. Open you up. And I think we're good. Let's go ahead and drop all of our shit here. Ah, uh, just like so, and we'll uh, we'll just hang on to this stuff. For old time's sake. Uh but yeah, I think we've uh, we've done it.
So I think that uh, Joan needs, I want to say six uh, spare parts to be able to fix the phantom uh, or the, uh, the mimic portal. So uh, we need to make sure she has enough for that. So I'm curious uh, how many parts it's going to take to fix some of these uh, control modules. Because if possible, I would like to be able to use some more. Um, to be able to clear out some more of the, uh, the Typhon, but I don't know how well it's going to work for sure. Regardless, though, we might... Might want to go as Riley next. Now that I think about it. Uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough one. It's really going to come down to whether or not she can use Mimic Matter to get through the, uh, the, the Typhon Gates. I don't recall if she can or not. I mean, certainly she can't if there's Typhon in the way. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, yeah, if she can not count as Typhon, that would help out immensely. Uh, although she doesn't really start with any weapons either, so that's kind of a problem right now as well. Uh, she does have a couple in the command center, though. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. But it's either going to be, yeah, it's either going to be Joan or Riley uh, coming up next. And, uh, yeah, we'll just <laughs> we'll see if we can finally finish this off.